Now, it took the world by storm, Rob Ford's downward spiral. Now we're getting a closer look into the life of Toronto's former mayor. Joining us now, uh, City Councilor John Fillion. You're the author of this book here, The Only Average Guy Inside the Uncommon World of Rob Ford. Uh, the title sort of says it all because you take a different angle. This is not the first book we've seen about Rob Ford. What is different about your book? Well, I wanted to get past the chronicling of the bad behavior and look at why he has behaved that way. Mm -hmm. um, and that really hasn't, um, nobody's really looked into that, I think. You've known him for about 15 years. You've sat a couple mm -hmm. seats away in council chambers. What sort of things, what are the misconceptions? Um, the biggest misconception is that he's just a one-dimensional cartoon character who you know, is uh, a buffoon 100% of the time or acts crazy 100% of the time that he isn't a real person with real feelings and doesn't feel hurt and humiliation just like anybody else. In fact, probably more than most people. Mm -hmm. So you feel that he is misunderstood? Um, I don't know if he's misunderstood. The, I mean, the, the bad behavior is real mm -hmm. and, and I don't uh, attempt to excuse that in any way. Uh, nor do I think that he, you know, should have been mayor or should ever be mayor again. But um, I'm just saying there's a real person there that that tends to get overlooked, and um, that uh, that is as real as anything else about him. Sure. When we track back um, to the, you know, the out of control, the downward spiral behavior, you were behind some of the motions that took away some of his powers as mayor mm -hmm. um, previous. Is it now you still have to sit in council chambers with him as a fellow councillor? What is the dynamic now like? Um, same as it's always been, perhaps even better. Rob has no hard feelings at all about the book. Mm -hmm. uh, I've discussed it with him many times. I tried to interview him, offered to read him passages recently this week. Said, "Would you like a copy, Rob?" Yeah. And he's, "Nah, buddy, that's okay. I don't want to. I don't want to read it. But no hard feelings. That's good." So I, I, that was, you know, my question. If if my coworker wrote a, a book about me. I would want to know what they wrote, but he's okay with not really, because you've done dozens of interviews with, you know, fellow co-workers, some family. Um, how does he, you know, put the blinders on? I think he's somewhat immune to what people have written about him. He probably doesn't understand that my book is very different, and mm -hmm. I really did want to read him, in particular, the prologue and the, the last chapter, but he was, nah, buddy, that's okay. Let me ask you this. Why now? Why put this book out now? Oh, uh, because I finished it uh, a <laughs> month ago. I, yeah, yeah, I started on it in December of 2013, and um, when I finished it, the publisher put it out. Okay, and I, we should mention that, you know, the official date of it being on the shelves is the 27th. It is available now, um, so if you want to pick it up, the only average guy, Councillor John Fillion, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. And we're going to take a break here.